The U.S. and NATO officially ended their combat missions in Afghanistan on December 8th. Thirteen years after the September 11th attacks, NATO's International Security Assistance Force lowered its flag, formally ending its deployment. U.S. General John F. Campbell, commander of NATO and U.S. forces, said that the mission will transition to a training and support role for Afghanistan's own security forces. The Afghan security forces are very, very capable, and I'm proud to, uh, to have been associated with them for this many years. They have to make some change in leadership, which they're doing. They've got to hold people accountable. They've got to build on the systems that are very hard for any army, you know, sustainment systems, logistical systems. Those are very hard for any army, and they'll continue to improve with them with the coalition support. Coalition forces will maintain 13,000 troops in Afghanistan after January 1st, 2015 down from a peak of approximately 140,000 in 2011. The mission ends even as the Taliban is growing in strength and is increasing its attacks, demonstrating how little there is to show for the blood and treasure America has spent in Afghanistan. Learn more about how crushing America's defeat in Afghanistan really is. Read Buried in Afghanistan in the January 2015 issue of the Trumpet Magazine.